children so in the first part of this chapter uh, we did the reading and explanation of first two paragraph i hope that you all have read the first two paragraphs of this chapter as i told you in the first in the first video so now today let's start with 3 4 and 5th paragraphs so let's start with the reading first of all patrick could not believe how lucky he was here was the answer to all of his problems so he said only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester that is 35 days if you do a good job enough i could even get as the little man's face wrinkled like a dish cloth thrown in the hamper he kicked his legs and doubled his fists and he grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips oh am i cursed but i will do it and true to his word that little elf began to do patrick's homework except there was one glitch the elf did not always know what to do and he needed help help me help me he would say and patrick would have to help in whatever way I don't know this word the elf squeaked while reading patrick's homework get me a dictionary no what is even better look up the word and sound it out by each letter okay children now let's revise what we learned in the first part of this chapter let's revise it we learned that patrick actually was not a lazy boy understood he found doing homework very boring and teachers always kept on saying to do homework to do homework but patrick wouldn't listen to anyone understood he would uh, spend his time in playing nintendo that is video game understood basketball hockey understood and really he felt that something he was lacking especially in education because he never used to do his homework properly and then one fine day he uh, found a cat playing with a doll and then afterwards he realized that he came to know that it was not a doll actually it was a tiniest little man and then how the little tiniest man asking to rescue him from the cat and instead in return he promised that he will do whatever patrick want him to do so this what we learned in the first part now let's start with the third para of the chapter patrick could not believe how lucky he was here was the answer to all of his problems patrick was so surprised that how lucky how fortunate he was that he found solution to all his problem what and what was his problem he could find someone who can do his homework so he found that problem he found answer solution to that problem so he said only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester that is 35 days so he said he also kept a condition if you help me in doing my homework then obviously definitely i am going to help you out i am going to rescue you from the cat if you do a good job if you work hard enough next to i could even get as what do you mean by as a means top grade understood i could even get good grade a grade okay then what the little man what was the little man's response to this the little man's face wrinkled like a dish cloth now children this para this fourth para this full para is of a facial expression of that little man understood as soon as he heard about the homework what kind of expression he had on his face that is all about this pair understood so wrinkled wrinkled means got folds with anger when we get very angry we get folds on our face isn't it so the same way the little man's face also turned up 
like a dish cloth thrown in the hamper. You must also have seen your mother throwing uh, soiled cloth, isn't it? Hamper means basket for soiled clothes. Soiled means dirty clothes. Understood? So his face became like that, like a very dirty cloth. Understood? Very ugly. Understood? His face started folding. Understood? He started getting wrinkles on his face. He kicked his legs out of angerness and doubled his fists. Fists like this. Doubled his fists. Understood? Mutti Bangarvena. Understood? Like what do you mean by fists? See here, I have written fists means tightly closed hands like this. Then, and he grimaced and scowled. Grimaced. What do you mean by grimaced? Grimaced means made face. We make faces as soon as we hear something odd things. We make faces. Scowled. Scowled means a look on your face. Very bad mood. Understood? You did not like anything. You did not like something told to you to do. Understood? And you make your faces like that. So these are facial expressions. Grimaced. Scowled. Understood? Then. And pursed his lips. Pursed. Pursed means to bring your lips together like this. Understood? To bring your lips together out of angerness.